Hey family, it's Tasha Margaret prepping. You already know what time it is. Get your drink, pull up. Let's have our first sip. I actually was already running around this morning like crazy doing all types of stuff. So forgive me. That's why I'm not bundled up. It's not first thing in the morning. Um, and I've already done several things. So I am kind of hot right now. And we're going to bang out this video. So I've been wanting to do this video for a while, which is really just to go over some items that we don't buy anymore, right? Um, these are typical like prepping must-haves. If you've watched any prepping channels, must-have buy um, items. If you look at prepper pantries, right? These items are always in there. They've been talked about for the, for the end of time. And really they are um, important because of their ease they're ready to go they're ready to eat meals or they're, they're they're very easy to put together meals and so they're cheap they're affordable easy to make easy to make um during shtf meeting really maybe a lot of these things just add some water right makes it very easy to make right one pot meals so let as you know if you've been watching me for a little bit we've changed the way we're doing things we've changed the way we're preparing as far as me and the food that i buy in order to um stockpile so the food i stockpile now is bulk it is whole ingredients and that's what we stockpile now right there's a lot of pre-made stuff we used to stockpile like crazy and we just don't do it anymore so today here's seven things without further ado let's get into it number one spam i know right i am a huge fan of spam i've loved spam for years and years and years but the more research i do the more um stuff i see on the internet the more videos and inform informative videos i see research papers all of this stuff on our meat our food being attacked how they make our meat now how they make our food has always been an issue but lately in my journey um, i've really dove deep into preservatives and the extra stuff and the dyes and the chemicals and and all this extra stuff that's put in our food and now with them trying to add vaccines to our meat meat supplies meat items all types of products i'm not trying to have it you know our fruit is being attacked our veggies are being attacked our meat is being attacked and they're determined to get this stuff in us regardless of what we're doing so a lot of pre-made meats that maybe i bought before i'm no longer buying so spam is one of those things although i'm a fan i still like it we're not buying any more of it right we have some in the pantry but we're not purchasing it anymore two is nor sides super easy right come in like a thousand different flavors super cheap right you could get them for a dollar at times i mean just extremely convenient they have smaller packages they have bigger family packages just different rice sides and pasta sides and all types of stuff and this stuff you guys i'm not getting rid of because of necessarily the sodium content but that does line up with a lot of the things that are on my list today. But for me, as you can see, I'm a chunky girl. We we don't shy away from sugars and salts. It's the, all the other stuff that I'm concerned about. The other stuff that they're trying to put in this stuff, okay? This stuff you cannot pronounce. The preservatives, the chemicals, the dyes, the this, the that, extra stuff, vaccines, whatever it is, okay? Um, so that is the stuff that we're getting away from. So unfortunately, Northside's no longer buy them. I love them. You can vac seal them. Just, it's just no. It's a no. Uh, next thing I have is rice aroni. Again, humongous favorite in my family is rice aroni. However, I have since done um, meal in a jar, freeze dried um, rice aroni um, jars, already ready to go with the meat, with the hamburger, with everything in them. You buy all the products with freeze dried products and then you make them. What I love about this is that I can find a safe place to buy meat, a safe place to get food. Then I can freeze dry it, but we haven't bought our freeze dryer yet, but it's on the list to buy soon, right? As soon as we're done, you know, purchasing land in a home, the freeze dryer, and then we'll freeze dry food, safe meat, safe food, and make these meals. This rice aroni that's a meal in the jar, I already did a video on, is a huge favorite. It feeds six to eight people. My family, we literally can eat it for a couple days. It makes a humongous pot, and it's one jar, so the space is amazing. It's ready to go. You add water, cook it down, easy peasy, right? And so much healthier than the rice aroni that you buy in the box because one, I'm making 10 times more than the box made, even though those little boxes made quite a bit. Um, I can do the different flavors and, and flavorings and all that. But however, I'm not getting all the extra stuff that they put in those boxes to then make it fresh, to make it last on the shelf, okay? So you know exactly what's in it because you put it together personally, okay? Next thing I have is mac and cheese. Again, I know you guys, I you could tell I love me some mac and cheese. I love me some food. And this just comes down to we're just going to bulk. We're just going to buy the bulk whole ingredients 
Um, you need, if you don't know how to make use of macaroni and cheese, you need to learn how to make use of macaroni and cheese and then just keep and prepare, um, stockpile, I mean, those items you need to continue to make a homemade macaroni and cheese, right? There is just no quickie macaroni and cheese. I've played around with a couple uh, meal in a jar macaroni and cheese recipes. Just not good in my opinion. It's just much better to get the freeze dried products, actual cheese, cheese that's freeze dried, the different kinds you want for your mac and cheese. You can get the powdered butter, you can get the powdered cream, whatever it is extra that you put in your mac and cheese, you can get in a powdered form, right? The milk, whatever. Um, and then the cheeses, you can get in a grated form ready to go um, that are just freeze dried, right? So just get all the things and that's what we do now is we just um, stockpile the whole ingredients for mac and cheese. Um, next thing, five, canned chicken. Ugh, I know some of you guys are like, what? Not the canned chicken. Again, huge favorite amongst preppers, spam in those cans of chicken, man. And don't get it twisted. I've made many a sandwiches, chicken salad sandwiches, chicken salad um, on crackers, on saltines. I mean, I love me some canned chicken and turn it into a salad and eating it. I absolutely love it. It's versatile. Again, though, this is coming from a decision of not trusting the meat source, not trusting where these companies are getting their meat. Um, these are big companies. These are big box companies that just throw this meat together. Again, very trusting in the past. And now that my eyes are opening a little bit more, I'm getting more savvy and not wanting to buy certain products. And unfortunately, you guys, those beautiful cans of chicken is just not my thing. I would rather find a chick, find chicken, right? Actual chicken from a source that I trust, a chicken farmer that I trust, buy chicken directly from them, and then I can then pressure can chicken, right? And then it's, if you didn't know, when you pressure can chicken, it comes out the same consistency. So it's great. You can shred it down, make a salad. It's delicious. It's real chicken. You don't have to worry about all the extra stuff that might be getting into those cans. Um, so I just can't do it anymore. So I know it's a shocker, but the canned chicken, no longer. And if you've watched me for the beginning of this channel, you know I've had all types of must stockpile this stuff. I've had must stockpile these canned meats, must get canned meat on your shelf. Those are some of my best videos, you guys. And I just can't do it anymore, right? I'm not saying no to all canned meat, but I tell you what, I'm really, really going away from it, okay? Because I just don't trust it anymore, okay? Do not trust the meat source. Should never have, okay? But my eyes weren't open enough, okay, before. Next thing is ramen noodles. Again, you've seen me on this channel, ramen noodles, so easy, cup of noodles, just a little bit of warm water even, not even hot water, boom, you've got noodles. I've discussed on this channel because people will scream and yell in the past, the sodium, the sodium. I've discussed it. You don't have to even use those packets, right? Or you can use a quarter of the packet or a half of the packet or put whatever ingredients with it. But I used to stockpile them because for the noodles themselves, right? Just super quick pre-made noodles. The problem is health reasons. Pre-made noodles are 10 times worse than you buying noodles. So again, we stockpile bulk f regular noodles, right? Um, not pre-made noodles, okay? Noodles you have to boil, right, and cook yourself um, is where we're going. You know, I would love to say I'm fancy and I'm just going to make homemade pasta and stuff, but listen, a girl does not have time for all of that. Um, so little steps, baby steps, and one of my baby steps is normal ramen noodles, even if it was just for the noodles, that noodles is actually the problem. Um, one of the bigger problems, they're horrible for you health-wise, but they're horrible for women as well, like worse than for kids and men and all this stuff. Horrible for our bodies, okay? Um, again, I know I hate it because, again, this is such a cheap, cheap food. So easy to stockpile and get a bunch of it. You know, fills the bellies, fills the little bellies, I get it. I do, do understand. But we have to change our ways if we want to continue to live on this earth and to live th the longest that we possibly can live, okay, in a healthy manner. We have to start taking care of ourselves. And then the last thing I have is coffee creamer. This is no surprise. I've talked about this before. We we started with no more coffee mate. Um, and then we just started reading labels and we just decided, nope, we're not going to do it. So we do straight half and half or milk, straight creamer. And then we'll do a flavoring agent. 
understand that the flavoring agents do have some stuff in it, but we are, we, it's like you decide on um, the stuff that you're willing to put in your body or not put in your body. Um, so we have some syrups that we do use for flavoring or just good old sugar, right? Or, or uh, vanilla syrup, whatever, right? There's different ways you can flavor your coffees. There's different ways that we have played around with this. I've made some coffee creamers. We've pressure canned some coffee creamers. We've done everything under the sun in the last probably three, four months since we've been doing this, but we no longer buy pre-made ready to go coffee creamers. Not even the natural kinds that boast that they're natural or they only have certain things in them. We just don't do it, right? We make our own or just have the ingredients and make our coffee each cup, you know, one at a time. Okay. So, um, those are my seven items. We no longer buy these items. We do have some of these items. Obviously I've been stockpiling, stockpiling some of this stuff for years. So some of this stuff, although it was in a regular diet too, we've worked it down. We've worked it down, especially the last year, year and a half with inflation and all that. Um, so the, the, the good thing is I don't have a whole lot of it left. Um, and then the good news is we're going to move forward with whole ingredients. That's where um, our preparedness journey is changing in the last months is buying whole ingredients, vice, something, a product that's already pre-made for us and has God knows what in it, okay? So I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are having a lovely week. It's cooled down a little bit here, even though it's still kind of muggy and it's supposed to be like 80 this afternoon. So it's just a nice reprieve this morning, but it's about to get real nasty and real hot real soon. And I know a lot of the country is dealing with that right now. So stay cool, my friends. Stay easy. Be nice. Do everything in love. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.